Hi, welcome to Peter's Food Adventures and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making shoba salad or sirotka pad shobai. Uh, a shoba is a big thick winter coat uh, made from fur. Uh, they've been wearing in Russia for hundreds and hundreds of years to keep warm. Uh, and this salad is meant to look like um, a fur covering on the layers of vegetables with the herring underneath. So therefore the name herring under a fur coat. As you can see, the ingredients are really simple. Got a few potatoes, um, three large beets. I got four small ones, um, a white onion, uh, carrots, uh, herring fillets that are in oil, um, or if you have salted herring, you can find that in European deli. Heinz mayonnaise, it's gotta be Heinz or Best Foods or um, Hellman's mayonnaise. Um, that really does give the, the shulba the correct flavor. Uh, some dill for some garnish and um, some eggs which we're going to hard boil. Okay, so all our vegetables are done, peeled, cooked uh, and ready to be grated to be layered on. So you grate uh, the vegetables as you layer because they're very soft. Most of the time where they land is where they land um, and as you layer it um, they will kind of solidify. I'm just using um, a type of um, round removable pan just so I can show the layers. You can use the deep kind of lasagna style dish or even just a plain plate um, and just mound it. So there's a few options. So as you grate it in, you'll be able to see the layers. Just... Now we're just gonna add the chopped herring. So the herring really, it's just thrown in around. It's probably a little too much herring chopped, but Really, probably about three fillets is enough. I've got four here. Now the onion, some people like to put it through a food processor. It's really not a lot to chop, it's quite easy. Probably have a little bit much onion here as well, but I like my shuba to be flavorful. Now, that's all fine. Now the Onions I'm using are just white onions. Now that's probably about half of a, it's kind of big I've got. So half of a white onion is all I need. You can pickle the onions and then just put it in a solution of um, vinegar and add some sugar in there if you like, For leave it for 10 minutes. Uh, alternatively, um, if you're using a yellow onion, put it in hot water to get some of that bitterness out. Uh, but white onion is just fine. Okay, so now we get to the fun part. Here's the first level of mayo. I use three levels of mayo for the whole thing. It's entirely up to you how much mayo you want to use or you don't want to use. I happen to like mayonnaise a lot. Most Russians do. All in all, I use probably about a cup and a half of mayo for the whole shuba. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be adding uh, the grated um, potato. That'll go to the rest of it. Nobody likes to dry shuba. And some people use sour cream, but that's just wrong. I guess you, people sometimes mix sour cream and mayo together. Um, and maybe that might be a little more health conscious. Um, but again, that's up to you. The traditional way is just to use plain mayo. falling apart <laughs> as it does on the end bits and pieces try to get them all through all right so this is where I'm gonna add a little more mayo just a lightly
kind of makes a nice little coating. I'm going to add some salt and pepper here. That's just kind of to your taste. And now we can add the grated carrot. All right, so now we've got just the carrots, the beets to go. So the carrots are soft. But the carrots add sweetness, so which is very important in this dish. Some sweet carrots. Beautiful. <laughs> A few pieces jumping out. Thing, level it out. Beautiful layer of carrots. All right, so now all that's left is the beets. Now you could wear gloves. Some people like to wear gloves. Beets stain, they stain the countertop, they stain your fingers. Um, I don't like wearing gloves. I like to have, uh, just when you're pushing down like this, just feel like the gloves always get caught. I have purple hands. I'm gonna have the most purple hands in church tomorrow. Perfect, look at that, beautiful beets. Now, okay, so now, layer that all down. Final coat is gonna be the mayonnaise. Before you do that, I recommend that you wash the grating, uh, grater and before you do the eggs, because you don't want to have the purple eggs on there. Okay, so now, the last coat of mayo. Now the mayo will turn purple over time. So when you put it in the fridge to cool, it's actually gonna get more purple than it is right now, and the whole thing should go quite nice and bright purple. And like I said, some people like more mayo, some people like less. Who am I kidding? I like mayo, it's in my blood. Now, fussing it, it's kind of fun to play with. <laughs> okay, so, yum, yum, yum. Oh, delicious. Uh, final step is to add the fur coat. And the fur coat, oh, I still want more. So this is definitely a cup and a half just has to be really perfect. I 
It's just nobody likes dry shuba or a dry salad. Ugh. Gotta be really perfect. So I'm happy with that now. One last slurp. Mm -mm -mm. Now, gonna grate the eggs. And the grated eggs, really they're gonna fall as they fall. Kind of gone yellows in the middle and white on the outside. There's not really a huge rhyme or reason to it, I suppose. Some people like to have the separation of design. There's some really horrible Shuba designs out there. Really sorry, but there are some really ugly ones. And there's some funny ones too, so. There's one with the lady, but the fish is the head and the tail. Anyway, it's quite ridiculous. So you can get really creative with your shuba designs. There we go. No, that didn't quite work, but that's okay. And then you just garnish, no, that's fine, I'm not gonna use that last one. Then you just garnish with um, dill, which I'm gonna cut up. But first I'm gonna put it in the fridge. I'm gonna let it sit for a few hours. All the flavors are gonna melt together. Mm -mm -mm. All right, well, that's basically how you make shuba. Um, this is now gonna go into the fridge. Um, and really, this is best eaten the following day. Uh, or at least three hours. Uh, after it sets in the fridge for a while, then carefully I'll be able to remove it up uh, and hopefully it's gonna look good. Sometimes it turns out to be a disaster. Shulba can be a bit finicky. And there you have it. Hope you enjoyed uh, watching on how to make shulba. Um, shulba salad, siryotka pat shulbay. Um, you guys all have a great day. Thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe.